After 10 years in the NBA, Kevin Love is still at the top of his game. For the past three seasons, the 29-year-old five-time All-Star played side-by-side -side with superstar LeBron James. Together, they took the Cleveland Cavaliers to the NBA Finals and won a championship in 2016. But what teammates and fans didn't know was that early last season, while the Cavs were struggling with a string of losses, Love was experiencing problems of his own. Anxiety and depression, it all came to head during a November home game against the Atlanta Hawks. That's when Love, the team's star power forward, had a full-blown panic attack in the team locker room. I had a moment where I thought I was going to die. I had never experienced something like that. I thought I was having a heart attack. Heart racing. Heart racing. And I was running around looking for something that I, I couldn't find. I just wanted to get air. And so I ended up basically unconscious on the floor and, you know, putting my hand down my throat and trying to get something out of there. But there was nothing there. So it was... Uh, Who found you in that moment? Our head athletic trainer, uh, Steve Spiro, found me. And um, I just remember him screaming my name trying to... Because you don't really know how to deal with that. Did your teammates know at the time what had happened to you? No. Uh, they had texted me after the game and had no idea what happened. So I just kind of brushed it off because in our sport or in life and, and being a man, it's, you're, you're taught to suppress it. You're taught, taught to, in a lot of ways, suffer in silence. But Love decided to break his silence and no longer suppress what he was feeling. He shared his personal struggles with mental health in a powerful essay he wrote for the Players' Tribune titled, Everyone is Going Through Something. I felt not only could I tell my own story, but I'd be able to impact people and maybe you know, change just that one person's life. I was one of those people. Feel, I was uh, diagnosed with GAD, general anxiety disorder, and mild panic. Very similar to what Kevin Love was talking about there. Inspired by Kevin's story and hoping to do the same for others, I opened up about my own experience with anxiety disorder right here on Today. You feel like you're dying. In fact, I went to the hospital. And the first thing you put it on, I got leads on my chest. I'm like, my heart's going to stop. Or I'm going to have a heart attack. And of course, what happens is you're perfectly fine. Kevin, since I've shared my story, largely inspired by you, I'm amazed everywhere I go, people are like, hey, the anxiety piece you did on today's show, thank you so much. What's the reaction been for you? Everywhere I go. It's the same with you. I mean, having the courage to, to be up front with this kind of a thing has been unlike anything I've ever experienced. Why does society think that you're impervious to a mental health issue? I watched the Robin Williams documentary and, and how he dealt with mental health issues and, and Kate Spade, she felt like it would hurt her brand. And then Anthony Bourdain, who was, you know, seemed to have it all. Brian Cranston had a great quote, he said, success is not immune to depression. You mentioned Anthony Bourdain, who was a hero to you. Thank you. Have you ever felt a sense of fear that your own depression or issue could take you to that dark of a place? And I think those thoughts and, and bad thoughts can creep into your head and, and your mind can play tricks on you and that's that's scary so I think it's a never-ending process and I know you know it's you don't have all the answers I certainly don't there's a big bucket we talked about mental health and we lob a lot of things in there anxiety depression bipolar suicide or well, I'd love to know how you think about all those things being discussed because I think society just looks at it and goes you're crazy right. that's the word no one wants to be considered crazy. Right. From my experience and in talking to other players that have dealt with a number of those things, what's going to happen if, if people do find out about this? Am I going to get the contract? Am I going to be able to take care of my family? What are people going to think of me? What can teachers, coaches, leaders in the community do to help young boys in particular? I think just, just be able to, to be at arm's reach for kids and, and teach them not to suppress it. I mean, for, for us, it was always keep your chin up. Which, which is fine, but don't suppress your feelings. Don't, don't bury them because eventually that's going to add up and it's going to surface in one way or another. And like for me, it was rage fits or it was uh, you know, going dark for a few weeks and, and you know, staying in my room after basketball practice and not talking to anybody and not getting much done. Today, Love manages his anxiety by talking to a therapist and sharing his feelings with those who supported him most, his fellow teammates. LeBron, I think, said on social media after you wrote that at, uh, article, he shouted you out and gave you some love. What did that mean to you? It was a special moment for me because, you know, he shook my hand, looked me in my eye and said, you helped a lot of people today. It's important. And I, that, was, that was super powerful for me because, you know, his influence and having my back with that was super important to me. I'm no LeBron, but I got your back. I <laughs> appreciate it, brother. Hey. <laughs> Friends for life now. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible what just speaking it just takes.
takes the power away. And I've watched personally Carson talk to some musicians in the studio yeah. who said, you cannot believe how you made me feel so much better, how I feel kind of like I'm getting healed already. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't feel like yeah. you're hiding it, yes. you know, you're yeah. liberated. And they're still doing good. I mean, mm -hmm. the conversation this morning. So. Yep. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.